All right, so it's been a while since we did one of those design all the way up to print videos. Uh, we do have a pop-up shop coming up. So, you know, we already got majority of our t-shirts printed. However, I wanted to create a few new designs that we could try out and see if it would actually work. And maybe we can get it mass produced the next time. So let's go ahead and do some design and printing or heat pressing in this case. So this time I wanna go with something that's like more of like angel in hell or like heaven in hell with like the angels and the fire and whatnot. So I'm just gonna come in here and type in angel and let's see what pops up. So I wanna go with something more of like this style right here. I'm gonna right click and click open in new tab. And let's see what else. This is a little too demonic for me. So also what I like to do sometimes too is click on the artist who created this and sometimes you'll find some other ones as well. So I actually do like a handful of these. So I did end up finding this one. I'm going to use this one, Almighty Defenders. So I'm going to go ahead and get started here. Uh, pretty much I'm going to delete a lot of that. Delete that, delete that, delete that. I practically deleted everything at this point. I just like the angel. So let's see here. Delete that. We're going to double click this. I've been after hours. Um, I do like more of this style font at the bottom. So this is called FDJ new cell. Huh? All right. So now we got to change this letter spacing and let's go ahead and stretch it out. Maybe make it lower case, lower case. There we go. Maybe also give it a slight arch right here. A little too much. Maybe about right there. Move this up, move this over here. So I'm gonna move this. Um, you see how it's behind her? What I'm gonna do is right click and click to front. And you know what's really good for phrases and whatnot that I use a lot is chat GPT. You know, I used to go to Google and I try to find some original quotes that someone did not create just yet. But um, I would go to, I would take that quote, take the chat GPT and then paste that quote in and then type in something along the lines of give me several quotes similar to this one that is original. So we're going to place that somewhere around here. Delete that. I'm going to click this text tool. I'm just going to click add headline. And use the spot right here. Go ahead and stretch this out and let's make this white. Copy and paste and bring this up. Want to add another piece of text. Okay. And now it's still a little plain. I need those flame and that fire that I was talking about so that we can bring this to life. So I did just find this one. Um, I like the flames on this one. I'm going to click use this design and we're going to get the fire off of this one. So here we have it. It does have some unusual overlay. It looks like we're just making the colors look funny. There we go. Uh, right click ungroup. Copy that. Bring it on over here. Looks like there's an overlay on this one as well as somewhere right here. All right. All right, so there we have it. It's a really simple design. And if I was being honest, it's not entirely my style, but I see a lot of this really popular and really in. And that's why it's important for us to order some one-off designs and get it printed and see if like if our audience actually likes this so that we can focus on more designs just like this. But even with that being said, you know, I can sit here and play around with designs all day. Like I was looking at this one right here. I like the way that one looks almost, but I don't like how they have this text and this right here. I would right click ungroup, right click ungroup again. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Let's take that. Let's see if we can remove our angel that's already here. Paste this one over. So I'm holding the shift button to select all of our items again. And now we can kind of resize it. So the problem with this one is I don't like how this is like a truly vector piece right here. And then this one is like a photorealistic image. I don't like the mix of the two. I mean, it doesn't look too bad, but you know, I don't know. We can remove this maybe. And now it's not as bad. 
a lot of this is not my style but at the end of the day you got to remember when it comes to clothing brands or or creating designs for your t-shirt business you have to remember it's not always about what you like it's about what your audience likes so i'm gonna use this website right here which is called ninjatransfers.com they have dtf sheets this is not my website a lot of you guys asking if this is my website or not it is not i have not used it but we're about to try it out and i think it, it is pretty solid choice because they have gain sheets and they have the super large size prints and i wanted this to be really large on the back so i think we're gonna go with something like 13 inches wide by 18.5 so basically i'm gonna download this one and bring it on over to photoshop and create a gang sheet of multiple designs and then i'm gonna send that off to print at ninjatransfers.com and we're gonna print that onto a t-shirt so i think we're gonna go with this size right here 22 inches by five feet so here we have it right here um for those of you guys who have dealt with gang sheets before i would not recommend trying to fit like a design in right here and i'll show you guys later it's gonna be hard to cut out i always want to go straight horizontal or vertical so it's easy to cut so we have multiple designs and we will go over some more of these in the next video as well um so you can see the text on this one right here and here we have our actual design right here and the thing about it is that i also took certain elements of it and just put it to the side so that we can experiment with it um with different portions of the actual apparel itself too so we also did a smaller version for the front left chest and uh we'll just see how it goes once again we're gonna go over these in the next video these designs as well i think we're gonna make a really dope rain jacket with this one in the next one but right now we're gonna make a t-shirt and let's see how it comes out all right so shout out to the sponsor of this video which is ninja transfers we went with dtf this time because we didn't need a whole bunch of t-shirts printed and we wanted a whole bunch of different designs so that we could see what it's going to look like and we could take it to our pop-up event and we will see which one sells out the most and then we can put it into full production or i mean at the same time, you could produce it all if you wanted to as well. So what's cool about DTF is that you can do the game sheets. So it does come very well packaged. The press settings on these transfers is about 300 degrees at about 12 seconds, 12 to 15 seconds. And then there's a cool peel and then you can press it again. So the reason why I ordered this is because it's a game sheet and it's a really large size print. We can go with like the oversized print because I know that's really hot right now. We can see what it looks like so let's go ahead and give this a look so check it out i do have a piece of advice for those of you guys who do gang sheets try not to like fit in as much as you possibly can like don't put this right here this design up in here and you got to go in here to cut it out i like to make sure it's like a straight down cut or a straight uh horizontal cut that way it's really easy to cut through it so you can either use your scissors or your guillotine but it's always going to be like a straight cut or this way not me going like around something that just takes too much time all right so i have my t-shirt here i'm going to give it a little bit of a pre-press to get the moisture out let's go ahead and go with this front piece I'm gonna leave that on there since it is a cool peel. Okay, let's go ahead and do the back. This is a really large, nice size print in full color. So it is a cool peel. Feels pretty cool to me. Let's go ahead and start peeling it off. That looks good right there. Let's go ahead and peel the back as well. Okay, so it's peeling really easily. It looks good. All right, there we have it. So you do gotta be careful with like the faded prints. We did try to fade that in. Of course, that's gonna be a difficult to print, but that still looks good enough for me. So I'm gonna give this a final post press to lock it in. It's 
So there we have it. I know you guys love the start to finish videos. Here's the front print and here's the back. It's a super large print. And with a DTF print, it is actually pretty soft. It's um, softer than how like most heat transfer vinyls feel. And the white is still very vibrant. Stretch is pretty good. I think it's not too bad. There you have it. That's with DTF right there. It's actually one of the few times that I've used DTF. It was a really suitable time to use it because of the gang sheet and the large print size that we could get. And we don't have a DTG printer. So we just went ahead and went with this. So if you enjoyed this video, comment, like, subscribe. We're going to see you on the next one.